Hi everyone, happy new release day. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number four. And big thanks to all of these folks who got pick your team number four. We filled this up straight up. No team randoms or anything like that. So thanks everybody for getting in. Tyler, last spot, Mojo, no A's this year. All right, there's the case right there. Eight boxes, two mini boxes. Eight, two is the count. I know, right? Matt, remember with TJ when we stopped doing the wrenches? In the old breakers.tv days, and then everyone like flipped out. We're keeping the posters. So there's a silver pack promotion, I guess. I, You know what? If, if you're in the area, you can be part of this promo. You can visit our shop. Visit our shop on 1402. Pacific Coast Highway, Hermosa Beach, California. We're right next to the van store. Parking in the back. All that stuff. All right, there's two, four, six, and eight. Now, we do have one more hour left in the show by the time this break is done. That is perfect time. We can do both Bowman's Best Five. There is a team random to attached to it. And we can do Origins. We can do both. Of course, if something else fills, then something might get pushed. But, but we can do both of those new releases. I have not done an Origins today, so I'd love to see one, if that means anything to you guys. If you want to help me see a new release. Yeah, people, people freak. All right. Good luck, everybody. Box number one, pick your team number four. This should bring us to the last hour of the broadcast where we will have time to do another Bowman's Best and an Origins. All we got to do is fill up the, yeah, Stephen Olsen saying three in one of the number blocks and four in the other. Thank you. Only seven spots total away from a break. All the teams have been pulled out already. So there's no teams available straight up in Origins Figure Team 2. Uh, Bowman's Best 5. Have we... Are all the remaining teams? Yeah, Bowman's Best 5. We pulled all the remaining teams out of Bowman's Best 5, so it's technically sold out. It's just locked away into that team random, which is actually down to 9. So we can do both, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to do both. We got time to do both. All right. Good luck, everybody. We got Brett Batty, franchise favorites, and John Duplantier is your rookie autograph for... The Diamondbacks. John McCall with the Snakes. Bo Bichette. Hi, Irvin. Should be seven? Oh, seven spots. Left. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's keep it going. Shervin Newton. I just maybe I didn't hit hit that refresh. All right, that goes to the Mets, Armando with the Mets. And we will do and we'll save send one of those to you too. And there will be an auto recap. That's to 99. And there are die cuts in here too. We saw one that was autographed. I'm going to sleeve all those up at the end. Do we save the Senzel as well? I like these franchise favorites too. Those will all ship, but some of the top rookies will set aside a little earlier. Greg Jones, Rays, that's going to be for 
John McCall and the Tampa Bay Rays. Veteran Commons will not ship. You're a bit best? Yeah. Oh, everything ships? Yeah, Dolman's best, yeah. Okay, well, good. Because I was going to say... It says Veteran Commons doesn't ship on the site, though. Oh, it does? Oh, everything ships. Because it's just too complicated. Because you have to figure out the difference between Xander Bogarts and then a prospect, which doesn't have any designation. So, everything ships. Bryson Stott. Oh, was there was there an A? Phillies, Ed Aarons. So lucky you guys, everything ships. I was going to say, I was going to recommend everything ship because the prospects have no distinction on the card between the prospects and the... I'll show you an example later. That'll represent all of the A's cards. We'll randomize that to one person in the break at the end. I think that's the first A's numbered card I've seen. All right, next box. I have another, no, I need another container here. Hang on a second, folks. We're gonna pause really quick and grab a shoebox for all the cards. All right, welcome back, folks. Got the stuff that I needed, we're ready to go. Uh, I don't remember. Three, I think. I don't know. It all it all just kind of kind of blurs in together. For me so. All right, box two. Pick your team four. Good luck, everybody. Bowman's best. Pretty solid as usual. I like the design this year. One of these days, I gotta, I gotta put a bunch of like, like the last five years of Bowman's best. Put some base cards up right next to each other and really figure out, hey, which kind, which design is the best. I actually don't remember those off the top of my head, so. I feel like I kind of forget last year's design, and then I go, oh, and then a year later, this re-releases. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at that. It looks great. Jake Bowers, Indians, rookie auto. That'll be for Matt Gomes and the Tribe. There you go, nice one, MG. I, th I want to say, Yervin, that there were a couple Adley Rushmans in that same trout break as well. So it might be worth a watch. I do I, I do an autograph recap at the end of the video, so you can just shoot ahead to that. All right, behind JJ is Eloy Jimenez. Wow. 10 out of 150. Nice rookie auto Eloy Jimenez. That will be for Adam Wilson and the Chicago White Sox. Nice. Kevin Manning. What's going on, sir? How are you? Tim, is there going to be basketball lots during Christmas time? There's Mookie Betts. I'm not sure what you mean. Yes? No? Basketball breaks? And Will Smith for the Dodgers. Nice. 
TJ, Merry Christmas, TJ. 57 out of 99, Neil Fight Sensations, Will Smith Rookie Auto for TJ. I think this is the first Neil Fight autograph we've seen, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. The, the bat was a bit of a surprise. How will he hit? Defense definitely there as well. You're welcome, TJ. Out of 50, Juan Soto gold. You know, we've got Nolan Gorman die cut. And Reese Hines, Reds, Reds prospect going to EA and the Red Legs. There you go. Yeah, it is a little confusing because it's still tw it's it's 2019. Wait, you bought the White Sox, Matt Gomes? No, you did not. This is pick your team four. Matt, in fact, Adam Wilson bought the White Sox and Bowman's best one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Uh, about four days ago. I have you for the Cubs in this one. The Northsiders. Now, Flawless, I think, was the last baseball product for Panini. Tops kicks off 2020 with... Um, Kicks off 2020 with Series 1, I think. That's usually their first release of the year. But yeah, this, this is a little confusing because it's Bowman's best. So they take the 2019 draft class who have played a bit of the summer already... And then they take the best of those guys and then pop them into Bowman's best. Bowman Draft, which we did a lot of, gives you a wider selection of those first-year rookies. Bowman's best kind of narrows down the field a little bit, probably to just the first-rounders. Um, but, again, it's still Bowman, so it doesn't feature as much of the, uh, as much of the veteran players. Or even rookies for that matter. So it's still prospect heavy. All right, here we go. Third box. Good luck, everybody. Die cut. So, yeah, so Jeff McNeil, still a rookie in this. Right, so yeah, Vlad's still a rookie in this. And there's a Michael Bush for TJ. TJ and the Dodgers, a compensatory pick in between the first and second round. And TJ specifically looking for uh, Dustin May. Is he in this? At a 250, Jared Kalanick, purple. So Tatis Jr., also a rookie. Eloy Jimenez, a rookie. And Zach Thompson, Cardinals autograph. <laughs> That's right. That's good one, Logan. Yeah, Michael Michael Bush. You guys remember Michael Bush? He did was a running back for the Raiders. Now he's a prospect for the Dodgers. 
That goes to Fred Schultz and the Cardinals. There's a Grant Levine die cut. And we got Luis Gill for the Yankees. That's going to be for Andrew Herman. It's the first Yankee here in Pick Your Team 4. All right, and we've got Brennan Malone for the Diamondbacks. No here, Green autograph, 20 out of 99. John McCall with the Snakes. Sean Corbett, who has the who has the Brew Crew, looking specifically for some Yelly or Keston Keston Huda. All right, guys. Let me, uh... And we will do an autograph recap at the end, so don't worry if you missed. Any part of this, you can skip ahead to the end, or if you're watching the replay. Oh, Dustin May is in this. All right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please swear. He did not want me to take out that shirt. All right, next one. get stuck in this one this year. All right, next box. Good luck. And how, how are we doing on the next Bowman's best. Are we are we gonna lock that in to the schedule tonight? I think we are. It's down to four. How about Origins basketball? Are we still? Do people are people still interested in that? One more, couple more spots have gone. But we pretty much need to get one of those filled by the end of this break, and then the next one filled by the end of the next break in order for us to do it tonight. If we if we lollygag, we will not get to those two breaks. All right, here we go. Next one, Kyle Wright, two fifty. Die cuts. Jonathan India, autograph for the Red Legs. Nice one for E A. And the Reds. He's a pretty good corner infield prospect for the Reds. Supposed to be pretty good. There's Keston Hira looking for some ink. And the auto behind Adley Rushman is Shea Langliers. Bravos. That's going to go to EA and the Braves. A little more, a little more heat in this case for you, EA. We've got Blaze Alexander atomic refractor die cut. We've got Daniel Espino, Matt Gomes, and the Cleveland Indians. Vlad Guerrero rookie card. We'll set those aside. And we'll set that Sinzel aside too. We'll obviously have all those sleeved up and top loaded before they get sorted and shipped. Will Wilson for the Halos. That's going to be for Johnny Cannon. On the board, Johnny. 
He's new to Jaspies, so welcome. There you go. There is such a thing as new guy mojo. Doesn't happen all the time, but new customers seem to have the knack of getting a little something. All right, four boxes to go. Team, you think? What baseball team, Lee? I was, I was just thinking about this. What baseball team do you have? Do you think has the best chance to go from worst to maybe wild card? Right? There's always one or two teams, almost in every sport. There's always one or two teams that were just garbage the year before and then the next year they're like oh all of a sudden they won 90 games you know in baseball always a team or two that does that I want to say the twins did not have a good season last year but then they won 101 games this year something like that you know what I mean that kind of example hey Vinny what's going on it's been busy which is good been fun. We've been pulling some nice hits. Seems like it's been a good crew in the chat. Logan says Mariners. Sean says Angels. Yeah, Mariners. Only 68 wins last year. But they've got some... Some youngsters there. There's CJ Abrams. Nice. Nice one for the Friars. Brian Peoples. Nice one, Brian. The CJ Abrams, this year's first round pick. Wander Franco die cut. Vlad Guerrero and TJ Sigma or Sakima Sikama. That will be for Andrew Herman and the Yankees. Yeah, Justice Sheffield might be one of the guys that leads the manners there. Ramon Laureano, 250. Fernando Tatis Jr., die cut is pretty cool. They, there's Joe Adele. Now, Sean Corbett, Angels fan, saying unbiased opinion, he thinks Angels. But guys like Joe Adele, how many wins does he have? Add 17 out of 50. Carter Keyboom for the Nats, Darby. You know, Anthony Rondon on that team. How many wins How many wins does he add to that 72-win to total that the Angels had last year? There's Diego Cartaya. Dodgers have a few catching prospects working up the ranks. That's another one for TJ and the Dodgers. Pete Alonzo rookie cards. Tatis Jr. Save those die cuts. And we've got Devi Garcia. Another one for Andrew and the Yankees. Victor, Victor, Mesa, die cut, and Walker Bueller. Yeah, 
All right. There you go, Brian Peebles. That's a CJ Abrams. Nice one. Good luck, everybody. Big boys double his heaven needs Joey Bart. He's got his Giants here. Still have 12 autographs to go. Four in the last, in each of the last three boxes. Now, all is not lost yet. No, I think. Yeah, I don't think the Blue Jays are. I mean, the Blue Jays could be ahead of schedule. They won 67 games last year. Blue Jays could be ahead of schedule. You know, they've obviously got Guerrero Jr. and Biggio and Bichette. You know, so they could be ahead of schedule. That's tough in that AL East, though. Orioles have a way to go. Indians are kind of rebuilding, right? White Sox could be ahead. They won, they won 72 games last year, only 72, but, you know, they could make a little bit of a turnaround. I think Royals and Tigers are still a ways away. Um, Angels are probably better than that 72-win 72 72 record, and they've added some people. They add some pitching. If they add some pitching, they might get their Mariners, too. Mariners got, got an interesting team there. Marlins are a ways away. That NL East is gonna be is gonna be pretty difficult. I think Pirates started off the season hot. They're a little ways. The Reds acting like they're like adding. They they traded for Trevor Bauer. They're adding Wade Miley. Reds acting like they want to be contenders. So you know maybe maybe they maybe the Reds can surprise some people. Padres, yeah, should be better this season. Seventy only seventy wins last year. If they get if they, they too, if they get some starting pitching. Or that young starting pitching develops and and all that, yeah, they could be pretty dangerous. Sean's hot take. Dads and Rocks outpace the outpace the Dodgers. You think the Dodgers finished third? There's the speaking of the Rockies, that goes to Ian, Grant Levine. I mean, it's Max Scherzer to 150. You might not have this guy. That guy's getting older. I mean, Dodgers have such great depth though. They they can they have the ability to absorb injuries if necessary. There's Reese Hines for the Reds. Rockies might. I'm a little worried about the Rockies. They, I don't think they're 71. This season was a weird year for the Rockies. I don't see it from the Padres just yet. Right. Definitely scared of the Padres like three years from now. But and the Rockies had a weird season okay. last year. I was just like, man. They never got on track. They only won 71 games, but they got a better team than that. There is your case hit. Franchise favorites. J.J. Blade. 42 out of 50. Nice gold right there for the fish. Chris Parent with the Marlins. Oh, book it, says Sean. Well, I'll be looking forward to your uh, to pictures of your future bet ticket from Vegas, Sean. Andrew Vaughn, nice. So back to back top ten guys, Adam Wilson with the Chicago White Sox. Nice. Bowman 5 apparently is done, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. Let's add that to the schedule. Team random sold out confirmed. Nice.
So we'll go back to back on Bowman's best. And we can close out the night with Origins, ladies and gentlemen. That's still five spots away. If we fill that Origins by the end of best five, we can do it. It doesn't fill by the end of best five. May have to be pushed to tomorrow. If I pull you a Yelly or, or a Hira, you'll get that ticket? I don't know. I'm just saying... I mean, hot takes. You can hot take all you want. Where you get, gotta 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 put some financial backing behind it. That makes it real. Otherwise, anyone can just spit hot takes. I doubt they have baseball odds out right now, right? Futures? Probably not. Second to last box. There's Roddy Tellez. Roddy Roddy Tellez to 250. We got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Atomic die cut. Nice. That's for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Rod. And there is Brett Batty for Armando and the Metropolitans. Diego Cartaya, 33 out of 99. Green this time, little color for TJ. Boom, Sean, I got it. There's your Yelich. Boom. Wow. Woo. There it is. All right, now you got to do it. You didn't specify what you wanted. So I feel like I've done my job. Pete Alonzo, Atomic, and Quinn Priester. <laughs> huge. Sean, that's right, yeah. Sean's a huge hit. There you go. Now you got to make that Vegas bet that we were talking about. Uh, well, as of now, Steve Olson, we do have time for Origins. It's Cody Bellinger, some color to 150 for TJ. Dean Kramer, Fernando Tatis. Dean Kramer die cut. And we got Zach Thompson. Fred Schultz, Jack Thompson gold, two out of 50. Is Zach Thompson, I think he was drafted. I think he's a first round. I think these are all first rounders, right? What's up, everybody? Jason from Galaxy's eBay. Presented by Jess from Last break of the night, last three boxes we have left out of the case. This is 2019. Keston. Boom. All right. Last box coming up. And a quick autograph recap. I will randomize the A's, that A's card too. Oh. Bowman's best box bit me. All right.
All right, good luck. Saving those Vlad Juniors too. Nice Travis Swaggerty. That auto. Did I really? Got it. Watch, there's a super fractor in there, and then everyone thinks Jaspies is rigged. Like I have x ray vision. Travis Swaggerty. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Travis Swaggerty uh, going to the Pirates, Chris Miller, Tim, and Johnny with the sharp eye. And uh, Andrew with the, the replay from the booth confirming the call on the field. <laughs> All right. Keone Cavaco. Twins. That goes to Tyler Stumpf. Last spot mojo. Oh, sorry. So the swag auto was first. Then it was the – or was the Zach Thompson auto first? I don't know. We'll find out. There's Alec Baum, die cut. But that's going to go to the Knicks. Tatis Jr. And Neil Leash. That's pretty cool, too. The Vlad Jr. There you go. Remember, that's not us, guys. Davey Garcia. That is for Andrew and the Yankees, who was looking for a little color from a Yankees autograph, and you got it out of 150. 101 out of 150 on that one. Roddy Tellez, green to 99. Machado, Atomic. And Bo Bichette. All right. What's up, Joe Crow? So what was in that, that mystery pack? Chris Davis. Austin Riley, rookie. Mike Trout, pow Wow. It was an autograph pack. Good work, you guys. Oh, that we would have shorted John McCall a Brennan Malone autograph. Can't do that. Thanks, guys. Good work. 
Good teamwork there. Good teamwork. So right, thanks to everyone. For that let's randomize all the A's cards. Joe Kroll, how's it going? Happy holidays. Let's go back to the list. Let's get everyone's names right here. Take that out. That was the placeholder for the A's. Let's roll it and randomize it. Name on top gets all the A's cards after seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and all. Final time. After seven times, David Sitka. Uh, David, I don't think I called your name all break. So there you go. You'll get some, that's your constellation right there. A's cards. In fact, let me just copy your name. I can put you right in the A spot right there. So there you go. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.